This is Wayne here with Trey Kenny Locksmith Service, and this is an awesome, awesome tool. I'm very, very thankful that Tony Davis with Davis Lock and Safe was able to send this out to me. Uh, I purchased this from him. This is a chuck that actually goes into a bearing, and it goes into this housing that then clamps into your strong arm uh, magnetic rig. Now, we all know that that new stra strong arm cordless magnetic rig is just the hottest little item you can have. It's going to stick to everything. It's going to stick to gun safes. It's going to stick to 12 gauge steel. And I've actually stuck it onto some of those things and stood on it and it still holds. So it's got plenty of holding force. This is going to bolt right in and then it's going to make it so that any drill that you own, Milwaukee, DeWalt, whatever brand you choose, corded, cordless, it doesn't matter, will bite onto the end of this chuck. As long as it'll bite onto a half inch uh, portion uh, size diameter then it will work so let's give it a shot and see how it works alrighty so this is the very first time I'm using it maiden voyage it's gonna slide right in here like so I'm actually gonna take this camera and just show you how it works okay so this clamp would be where you would normally put your drill now the Milwaukee ones, your hammer drills, all your corded hammer drills are going to fit in here. Uh, Milwaukee and all of them seem to be about the same collar size after the chuck, but this one is not. The cordless drills are not because they have this clutching system built into it. You'll also notice that Milwaukee has changed their design. Now, I specifically built my own because I love Milwaukee tools. That's what I'm invested in. They're the only things that seem to last as far as the cordless uh, series goes. And I've just toasted a bunch of DeWalt and all the other garbage out there. So that's why I, this one is so important and so special to me because I had to make my own contraption to make this thing work. And I used a similar design. I just took another tower that was off an old uh, Magna rig or Ultra Mag rig or whatever it was. But I basically had already had the bearings into it. It was just kind of big and cumbersome. So this is going to go right in there just like that. And it's going to be nice and straight. And then we simply just clamp it down using the clamp here. Once the, the mag lock is now put into place, and I'm gonna put you right here, okay? And let's see what this thing can do. Came with its own chuck. Hopefully this will chuck up really nice and easy. Nothing too fancy, just a class B, half inch steel. Just give it a little test ride and see what she's gonna do. Okay, Put that in very nice and easy. Do a carbide bit there. Get my new super batteries here from Milwaukee, and it's going to let's see here. Beautiful, just like that. Okay, open it all the way up. Clamp it on. We're ready to rock and roll. Okay, there we have it, all drilled through nice and easy. You can see how that works, just like so, okay. Okay, so it worked absolutely flawless and perfectly good with the regular drill bit. However, I am an insane human and 
I always do things a little bit crazy. So number one, don't try this at home. Number two, what I'm doing is I'm stress testing this bearing and this chuck system. My regular drill is designed to drill at about 800 RPM. Okay? Regular drill is designed to drill at about 800 RPM. This is gonna drill at about 8,000 RPM. So it's basically gonna be 10 times faster than it was ever designed to be used. What I'm doing is I'm stress testing the device. If it'll put up with this, it'll put up with anything you can throw at it. Minus maybe a router. I would not suggest using a router at 30,000 RPM. I might one of these days, but not now. Uh, even I think that would probably make things fail. And <clears throat> there's a big difference between 800 and 30,000 RPM. But this is basically gonna be 10 times whatever it was ever designed to be used. So don't try this at home, but enjoy watching. drill a hole. So, held up very nice. I'm not noticing any heat built up in the chuck. And I was also able to drill that hole in about one minute, actually quite a bit less. So, definitely, definitely really, really cool stuff. Um, I always experiment with things, so please, uh, I'm in a shop environment and I've got safety precautions all planned out if things go bad. So, just note, it works. It works at 10 times what it's actually rated to work at, and it works very well, even though it's not recommended. I always test things to the absolute limit, and this passes with flying colors. If you would like one, give Mr. Davis, Tony Davis, a call. Thanks for watching.